It's not surprising that the Democrats in Washington have no plan to bring down the rising gas prices. But make no mistake, they do have a plan to make them go higher. That's right, the Democrats, along with President Obama, are advocating policies that will make you pay more at the pump. And that's exactly what they want. Consider President Obama's energy secretary, uh, his name is Stephen Chu, he said, quote, somehow we have to figure out how to boost the price of gasoline to the levels in Europe. Now that's about seven to eight dollars a gallon. This comes from the administration. And I've noted before the words of Alan Kruger of the Obama Treasury Department. He said, quote, the administration believes that it is no longer sufficient to address our nation's energy needs by finding more fossil fuels. Now, with that kind of attitude, which believes that we can power our economy without more oil and gas uh, produced here in America, it's easy to see why prices are going up. In fact, when President Obama took office, the gas price was $1.84 a gallon. Now it's $4 a gallon. Now you see, the problem of high gas prices uh, is about supply and demand. So that's, it's obvious. We have plenty of supply. In fact, the nonpartisan Congressional Research Service says that we have the largest recoverable resources of oil, gas, and coal of any nation on Earth. In fact, we have enough to supply to make us independent from the Middle East. It's just that this administration and the Democrats don't want us to get at this. Uh, thanks to the Obama Interior Department, uh, their de facto moratorium on new drilling permits, I'd say they're doing a very good job of it. Uh, also, consider the Obama's EPA's uh, cap and trade regulations. These regulations covering everything from farms to manufacturing to facilities to power plants are designed to make energy more expensive. When the EPA gets its hands on a on regulating carbon dioxide from refineries, you can bet that, that we'll pay a lot more at the pump. Now today, the Democrats are supporting legislation to raise taxes on oil and gas companies. Sure, we hear this plan about ending subsidies for these companies that don't need them, but these aren't subsidies. The, the, that, that is, they're not government handouts or checks coming uh, from the taxpayers. These are tax provisions such as expensing and depreciation provisions that extend to nearly all companies operating in America, not just oil and gas companies. No, what is, this is all about is penalizing businesses to raise more money for the Obama tax and spend machine that has left America drowning in trillions of dollars of deficits and debts. This has nothing to do with big oil, nothing to do with deficit re reduction. A White House spokesman recently characterized the Democrats' energy tax uh, this way. They said, quote, the bottom line is that there are more responsible ways to spend billions of taxpayers' dollars, unquote. That's right, that's what they said, spend billions of taxpayers' dollars. The real bottom line is this, don't be fooled when the Democrats say they're taking away subsidies to reduce the deficit and anytime you hear Democrats talking about deficit reduction and tax increases in the same breath, you can be sure the result will be more spending from Washington. Now, somehow the Democrats think it's a good uh, for the environment if energy prices rise and the economy suffers. But the environment can only improve if we have the wealth to pay for it. Uh, somehow they think higher energy prices will spur an energy revolution so we won't need oil, coal, and natural gas. But those three energy sources are needed now and will be needed for the decades to come. Now, President Obama and the Democrats have a plan on gas prices. It's focused on making drivers, truckers, farmers, and small businesses pay more and pay more at the pump. And that's designed to make us import more uh, foreign uh, oil, uh, energy. Uh, remember, it was Obama's own Secretary of Energy, Stephen Chu, who made the, this very, very clear. He said, now I'm quoting the, the Secretary of Energy, Stephen Chu. He said, quote, somehow we've got to figure out how to boost the price of gasoline to the levels in Europe. And that would be seven to eight dollars. So I can just say it's time to change course, overturn President Obama's regulatory obstacles to new production and start producing America's abundant supply of energy. Uh, doing so will mean more jobs, more energy, more security, a stronger economy, and will lower the price of gas at the pumps.